Imagine a world where towering ferns, colossal conifers, and ancient trees dominated the landscape. This was a world that existed long before humans and modern animals, an era ruled by massive predators and herbivores. But before the dinosaurs that roamed the earth, there existed another kingdom, a prehistoric plant kingdom filled with fascinating organisms. Some of these plants were giants, standing taller than skyscrapers, while others developed incredible adaptations to survive, and some were even carnivorous. We often think of the prehistoric world as one dominated by gigantic creatures like Tyrannosaurus rex or Spinosaurus. However, if you were to step back in time, you would find that the most formidable survivors were not just animals, but plants. These ancient plants adapted to extreme climates, volcanic eruptions, and the evolving challenges posed by herbivores. For hundreds of millions of years, plants dominated ecosystems, providing not just the green backdrop for ancient animals, but forming the very foundation of life itself. Some of these ancient species developed unique survival mechanisms that we still observe in today's plant species, while others were so strange and otherworldly that they continue to astonish us even today. The Dawn of Plant Life – The First Pioneers To understand the vast diversity of prehistoric plants, we need to go back more than 500 million years ago to the Ordovician period. During this time, the Earth's surface was mostly barren, devoid of complex life forms, and the land was still an alien place. It was in shallow waters near the coastline that the first plants began their journey onto land. These weren't plants as we know them today. There were no trees or flowers, but small, simple algae-like organisms. They gradually developed adaptations, such as the ability to retain water, which allowed them to survive on dry land. Over time, these tiny organisms evolved into moss-like plants, laying the groundwork for the future of Earth's flora. By the Silurian period, around 440 million years ago, early vascular plants like Cooksonia had evolved. These plants were among the first to develop specialized tubes for transporting water and nutrients, giving them a significant advantage in the harsh environments of early Earth. Although small, reaching no taller than 10 centimeters, they were trailblazers, leading the charge for plant life to conquer land. Carboniferous Forests – The Rise of the Giants Fast forward to the Carboniferous period, around 359 million years ago. This was an age of giants, not just in terms of animals, but also plants. Towering above the ground were tree-like ferns, massive horsetails, and spore-bearing plants that could grow up to 30 meters tall. One of the most iconic plants of this period was Lepidodendron, also known as the scale tree. This towering plant reached heights of over 30 meters, dominating the swampy forests. It wasn't a tree as we understand it today. It reproduced by spores rather than seeds. Fossils of its distinctive diamond-shaped bark patterns are found all over the world, and these plants played a key role in forming the vast coal deposits that we rely on today. Alongside Lepidodendron, you would find Sigillaria, another massive plant. Unlike modern trees, these plants had no bark and were covered in long vertical ridges. Their unusual appearance made them resemble something out of a science fiction film. These plants, along with their contemporaries, filled the atmosphere with oxygen, creating a hyper-oxygenated environment that allowed not only plants to grow to gigantic proportions, but also insects and other invertebrates. It was in this oxygen-rich atmosphere that enormous arthropods like Meganeura, a dragonfly with a wingspan of over 70 centimeters, thrived. The evolution of seed plants, a game changer. As the world transitioned into the Permian period, approximately 300 million years ago, the climate began to shift. Earth's lush, swampy forests started to dry up, presenting significant challenges for plants that relied on water for reproduction, such as ferns and other spore-bearing plants. But out of this adversity emerged one of the most significant evolutionary breakthroughs, 
the seed. Seed plants, or gymosperms, such as Glossopteris, began to dominate the landscape. These plants did not rely on water for reproduction. Instead, they enclosed their reproductive structures within seeds, enabling them to spread across drier, more arid environments. Glossopteris, with its broad leaves and ability to thrive in various climates, formed vast forests across what is now South America, Africa, Antarctica, and Australia. Another key plant group that emerged during the Permian were the cycads. These plants, resembling modern palms or ferns, became highly successful due to their ability to withstand harsh, dry conditions. Cycads would continue to thrive for millions of years, becoming one of the dominant plant groups during the Mesozoic Era. Mesozoic Forests The Mesozoic Era, often referred to as the Age of Dinosaurs, was not just a time for colossal creatures like the Brachiosaurus and Allosaurus. This era also witnessed an incredible diversity of plant life, particularly during the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. By this time, gymnosperms were well established, with plants like conifers, cycads, and ginkgos covering much of the earth. Conifers, the ancestors of today's pine trees, formed vast forests during the Jurassic period. These plants were essential not only to the ecosystem, but also to the herbivorous dinosaurs that depended on them for sustenance. One of the most fascinating survivors from this period is ginkgo biloba, often referred to as a living fossil. The ginkgo has remained relatively unchanged over 200 million years. Its fan-shaped leaves and resilience to environmental changes have allowed it to persist through multiple mass extinctions. Imagine a world where ginkgo forests stretched across continents, sheltering massive dinosaurs under their broad leaves. The Rise of Angiosperms as the Cretaceous period unfolded, a new and revolutionary group of plants began to emerge, angiosperms, or flowering plants. While gymnosperms had ruled for millions of years, angiosperms introduced a new strategy, flowers. This adaptation enabled them to spread and reproduce more efficiently than their gymnosperm counterparts. Flowering plants not only evolved new methods of reproduction, but also formed symbiotic relationships with animals. Insects, birds, and even some small mammals began to aid in the pollination of flowers, giving angiosperms a competitive edge over other plant groups. One of the most intriguing evolutionary developments was the appearance of prehistoric carnivorous plants, plants like Archaemophora, an ancient ancestor of pitcher plants, thrived in nutrient-poor soils by developing traps to capture and digest insects. These plants were some of the earliest known carnivorous plants and may have coexisted with the last of the non-avian dinosaurs. Prehistoric Carnivorous Plants – Nature's Traps Carnivorous plants, akin to those we observe today, are fascinating because they represent a departure from traditional plant strategies. Rather than relying solely on photosynthesis and nutrients from the soil, these plants develop mechanisms to trap and digest living organisms, primarily insects. The pitcher plant, for example, evolved long, tube-like leaves that form traps filled with digestive fluids. Insects lured by sweet nectar would fall into these traps and be slowly digested. While today's pitcher plants are predominantly found in tropical environments, it's plausible that their prehistoric ancestors were widespread across ancient ecosystems. Other prehistoric plants, such as the early ancestors of sundews and butterworts, may have utilized sticky leaves to ensnare insects. These plants thrived in nutrient-deficient areas, and their carnivorous adaptations provided a crucial advantage in harsh environments. The Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction and Plants Around 66 million years ago, the world experienced one of the most dramatic mass extinction events in history, the Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction, a massive asteroid impact. Combined with volcanic activity and climate changes, wiped out nearly 75% of all species on Earth, including most dinosaurs. However, plants, resilient as ever, adapted and evolved. Many gymnosperms were already in decline by this point, but angiosperms, with their efficient reproductive strategies and symbiotic relationships with pollinators, flourished in the aftermath of the extinction. In the post-dinosaur world, 
flowering plants took over the planet, evolving into the vast diversity we see today. Forests of conifers, ferns, and ancient cycads gave way to landscapes dominated by flowering trees, shrubs, and grasses. The Rise of Modern Plant Families The Paleogene was a time of significant climate change, starting with a relatively warm and humid climate and gradually cooling toward the end of the period. This era saw the emergence of modern plant families that continued to dominate today's landscapes. During the early Paleogene, tropical rainforests flourished, particularly in regions that are now South America, Africa, and Southeast Asia. These forests were dominated by angiosperms, which had diversified significantly during the Cretaceous. Some of the most common plants during this time were Magnoliaceae, Magnolia family, Lauraceae, Laurel family, and Fabaceae, Legume family. These early tropical forests were highly diverse and supported a wide range of mammals, birds, and insects that evolved. As the climate cooled, different plant communities adapted to new conditions. Grasslands began to expand, providing new habitats for grazing mammals and herbivorous dinosaurs that had survived the extinction event. The adaptability of flowering plants played a crucial role in their proliferation. Their ability to reproduce quickly and develop new forms allowed them to fill ecological niches left vacant by the extinction of many other species. The Neogene Period – Plant Evolution Continues Transitioning into the Neogene Period, around 23 million years ago, we observed further diversification among plant species, particularly grasses. The expansion of grasslands reshaped ecosystems worldwide and provided habitats for a variety of new animal species. This period also marked the evolution of many modern trees, including oaks, pines, and maples, which have become integral components of today's forests. Additionally, the rise of grazing mammals such as horses and antelopes exerted evolutionary pressure on plants, leading to the development of tougher, more fibrous leaves and stems. The interplay between flora and fauna during this period was critical, as plants adapted to survive the challenges posed by herbivores, while animals evolved to maximize their efficiency in feeding on these plants. The Quaternary Period – The Age of Human Influence The Quaternary Period, which began approximately 2.6 million years ago, marked the onset of significant climate fluctuations, including the Ice Ages. During this time, plant species exhibited remarkable adaptability to changing conditions. As glaciers advanced and retreated, forests shifted and evolved. As humans emerged on the scene, they began to have a profound impact on the plant kingdom. Agriculture transformed vast landscapes, with the domestication of key crops like wheat, rice, and maize. This agricultural revolution fundamentally altered the relationship between humans and plants, leading to the development of civilizations that relied on the cultivation of specific species. Moreover, with urbanization and industrialization, many ancient ecosystems were disrupted or destroyed. This has led to the extinction of numerous plant species and a significant loss of biodiversity. Today, conservation efforts are crucial in protecting the remaining prehistoric plant species and their habitats. The narrative of prehistoric plants unfolds over an astounding span of 500 million years. It begins with the earliest simple organisms that ventured onto land and extends to the vast forests that once sheltered dinosaurs alongside the remarkable adaptations of carnivorous plants. Throughout this journey, the plant kingdom has demonstrated remarkable resilience and transformative capacity. Contemplating the prehistoric plant kingdom allows us to deepen our understanding of Earth's history and the intricate relationships that exist between plants and animals. These ancient life forms not only molded the ecosystems of their time, but also established the foundations for the rich biodiversity we value today. In an age increasingly shaped by human activities, it is vital to acknowledge and appreciate the extraordinary history of life on our planet. By studying and safeguarding our botanical heritage, we pay tribute to the titans of the past that significantly influenced the world as we know it. Moving forward, let us commit to understanding, valuing, and preserving the delicate equilibrium of life that continues to flourish beneath our feet.